Florida, South Florida gets ready to host Super Bowl 54. Some big names coming to town. And that's right. Some very famous entertainers will be watching the game from a luxury yacht anchored at Bayside. But it's what's happening before then that has a lot of people concerned. Local 10's Roy Ramos is live to explain this one. Roy. Andrew and Alex, and if you have been to downtown Miami, you have likely noticed the Seafair. It is this rather large white yacht parked right next to the Intercontinental, and most recently, right next to Super Bowl Live. This is a family event where festivities are being held leading up to the Super Bowl. But it is right here at this yacht, the city got word that there was going to be a party with adult entertainment. So they are doing everything to stop it. However, the owner says that is not the case. Under no circumstances had Bayfront Park Trust approved anything like this. City of Miami Commissioner Joe Carroyo outraged after learning the seafarer yacht who leases a dock on a month-to-month -month basis near Bayfront Park has allegedly subleased the vessel to Allure Atlanta, a company that is seen on social media advertised as the number one strip club and lounge. We can't say what is going to be going on there for those six days. Uh, we could only go from what we've seen. Bayfront Park now home to Super Bowl Live, a family festival featuring live music and more. But when it comes to adult entertainment, Carroyo says it is not permitted in this part of town and violates city code. There should be no adult entertainment as defined by Miami 21 code in the docks vessel while the vessel is otherwise within city limits. Carroyo has gone so far to inform the city and state attorney of the six-day festivity we found will feature artists like 21 Savage, Fabulous, Migos, and Feature, to name a few. We're also told that uh, these people were bringing in some 100 uh, women, uh, uh, young uh, women uh, from out of state. But the commissioner says he is doing everything to stop it, sending this letter to yacht owner David Lester saying he is responsible for the event. I took Carroyo's concerns straight to him. Yeah, I understand the commissioner's concern. The advertisement on social media was undertaken in violation of our contract because we were to approve all advertising in relation to this event. They did not come to us for pre-approval, and I think the advertising was incorrect, and I understand the commissioner's concern, and it's since been pulled. And as we come back out loud to that yacht, owner David Lester went on to tell me that there would not be adult entertainment going on on this vessel. However, the Allure Company will still take their proposal before city commissioners next week to see if they will be permitted to hold their event. We will keep you posted on what happens. Here in downtown Miami, Roy Ramos, Local 10 News.